All right, so let's continue with our uh, Finite of Freddy's tutorial. Uh, let me show you what we got so far. We can um, move the camera, except for the noise. That's a new effect in uh, uh, GDevelop that came out yesterday. I'm going to make another video about uh, all the new effects in, uh, in GDevelop. We are going to need another uh, 3D room. Now we could do another one in Photoshop, okay? But uh, today I want to show you another way. Uh, a lot of people are using Blender, but uh, Blender is sort of complicated. And um, if you don't have an iClone 7, download it. The link is down below. So let's go to props, okay? There's a bunch of props here. Let's go to 3D props. And uh, we're going to go to the bottom here to walls and floors. So let's drop a floor. There's our floor. Now let's go to Photoshop. And uh, we're going to use this uh, checkerboard pattern. Okay. Let me show you the texture we're going to use. Here's the texture. Uh, to bring this into iClone, all you have to do is um, copy this. And uh, we're going to go to backgrounds, 2D backgrounds, and simply paste it. Actually, let's go to custom first. And custom to the backgrounds, paste it, and drag this into the floor. Go to UV settings, tiling, and let's set this to 5, 5. Okay. Could you cut that texture a little bit? Let me just uh, fix that there now. Um, it needs to tile a little better. Around there, just crap this here and save it. Same as well. Crap that too. Now we just need to bring that back again. Let me just delete that there. And paste it here. Now I think we messed it up. <laughs> Let me just do this again. Drop the floor. And uh, drop our checker pattern. And uh, let's set our UV to 6. 6. 6 by 6. And that seems a lot better. Let me just drop a character here so we have a sense of scale. Drop this anime uh, avatar. And that's just for us to be able to tell how big this room is. Okay. Now we want this to be a hallway, so let's uh, bring in some walls. wall number one uh, one thing we should always do is um, zero out everything okay so there is our wall there and uh, I already have a texture here we're gonna use for this here is on lay Photoshop you don't have to use Photoshop. Uh, this is the, the one we're going to use. Copy this and let's paste it into our backgrounds. Okay. Okay, so now we just need to fix the uh, tile in there. Obviously is wrong. Bring the stripe up a little bit. There we go. Actually, I have to scale this. Uh, to scale this, you press uh, R. And you can scale this. Actually, I might have to fix that a little tiny bit there for the uh, horizontal tiling. Actually, vertical tiling. It's a bit stretched. There we go. You can uh, play around with these guys. It, it doesn't have to be exactly like this. Now, uh, if you wanted to make another wall, all you have to do 
it's um hold control hold control and shift okay actually you have to place w first so you can uh, drag this select the first w control shift and drag i think is it is it just shift okay it's just it's just shift <laughs> i was thinking of another program okay so let me just um delete that one there obviously we're gonna have to turn this one around and the easiest way will be i guess you can just rotate it but uh, you might make a mistake so what i like to do is move this and see which one moves there this is the z okay z moves so let me just set that to 180 okay there is our hallway maybe it's a little too wide and this is where our camera is going to be placed right outside our room okay and that's where we're going to place that animatronic right there right here okay let me set the angle here actually uh, like so you can put some posters here. I'm going to show you how to make some uh, posters for this. And to bring in some props. Um, let me just add a camera to this. Set this as a camera. So now this is a camera here. You can call it uh, Cam1. Okay. And um, let me turn it around. Okay. Now the animatronics are a lot bigger than than her. Okay, so that's because they are super scary. That's why. All right, let's see. So now we can probably use this one here. Also, um, we're gonna turn this this around. E is for um rotation. And maybe we can rotate this at 60 degrees. I mean, not 60. <laughs> I mean, 90. 90 degrees. Okay, set that over here like so. Actually, actually, uh, let me rotate that uh, 190. Not 190. I meant, what did I mean? The other way, this way, like this. Uh, that is two. I guess it's two seventy. Okay. So you have a door there. You could drop the same, um, the same texture. Actually, I don't know what it's gonna look like. So let me, let me just drop it there. And uh, actually, not the checker one. This one here. And we can actually get away with that too. Let me simply bring that up. Go to textures. I'm going to go the other way. Just to match the other wall there. Set this up to 200. Uh, try 500. Down a little tiny bit more. There we go. I think this is the settings we should have used for this ones here, but... <laughs> Alright, doesn't matter. Okay, so there is our... Uh, our hallway there and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go preview here so I can move around and select uh, our character here and uh, I can basically you can basically build the entire thing here and set the cameras and render the uh, the images so you can use them uh, in gdevelop or you can export this for Unity or Unreal Engine. It doesn't really matter. 
For this example, we're going to use a uh, GDevelop, obviously. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can use any engine. So what I want to do now is I want to make this uh, super creepy by changing the lighting. Okay. 